So here's a question submitted by a fellow Reddit user, and he wants us to implicitly differentiate this equation right here and solve for dy dx. So let's write this out. So we've got d dx of this left hand side, which is square root of x plus y, and this is going to equal d dx of the right hand side, which is this. So let's work with the left hand side first. When we take the derivative of this, we can use the power rule and we can write the derivative of this side as one half times x plus y to the negative one half and then use the chain rule and differentiate what's inside this negative square root. And what we get is one plus d dx times y, which is dy dx. And this is going to equal the derivative of the right hand side with respect to x. So the derivative of one with respect to x is zero. So the only term that we have to worry about is this guy right here. And right here we can use the product rule. So if we use the product rule and differentiate x squared first, then we get 2x times y squared. And then now we differentiate y squared, 2x squared y times dy dx, because we have to implicitly differentiate y since it's a function of x. Now what we're going to do is we're going to distribute this quantity right here so that we can separate the one and the dy dx. So when we do that, we get one half times x plus y to the negative one half times one plus one half times x plus y to the negative one half times dy dx. And this is going to equal two x y squared plus two x squared y dy dx. And now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put both of these terms that have a dy dx associated with it on the left hand side and I'm going to put the ones that don't on the right hand side. So when we separate these terms we get one half times x plus y to the negative one half dy dx minus two x squared y dy dx and this is going to equal two x y squared minus one half times x plus y to the negative one half. And since both of these terms have a dy dx on this left hand side, we can factor out a dy dx. And when we do that, we get dy dx times one half x plus y to the negative one half minus two x squared y. And this will equal the same thing on the right hand side. And now what we do is we just divide both sides of this equation by this quantity. So now we end up with an expression for dy dx, which is going to be equal to two x y squared minus one half times one over square root of x plus y. I'm gonna rewrite this negative one half in terms of a square root. And this will be over one half times one over square root of x plus y minus two x squared y. So we can simplify this a little bit by multiplying by square root of x plus y on the top and bottom of this fraction. And when we do that, we get the following equation. dy dx is equal to 2xy squared times the square root of x plus y minus 1 half all over 1 half minus 2x squared y times the square root of x plus y. And then we can eliminate these fractions by multiplying through by 2 over 2, which gives us a final answer of 4xy squared square root of x plus y minus 1 all over 1 minus 4x squared y square root of x plus y. So this will be our dy dx and our implicit differentiation is done.